Alan Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo! Baby Flo! <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Alan Taylor will win. She's riding an amazing horse out of Baby Flo. One of the babies for Baby Flo. For Lo to the Flo. Flo, Flo. Hush, buddy. Hush, buddy. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, we got a new trailer, and I know that you probably already saw why we switched. If you didn't, make sure to go watch part one of the new rodeo rig to check out the brand wagon. But here, we are paring things way down because we went way big on how we're getting down the road. The chassis is not massive, but it's a big difference from just a regular truck. And so we went with a three horse bumper pull. The front slant is going to be for feed and things and stuff. And the back two slants are gonna be for our rodeo horses. That means if we need another rodeo horse or we're getting a jam, we're gonna to have to call home and get somebody to come meet us. So we're traveling a lot lighter. We're gonna take you guys inside. Now the main thing that has to happen is we have to get everything out of the four horse platinum and put it in here. And I'm proud to say that we didn't have a lot of unused stuff, but that means that when we put everything in here in a lot less space, no mangers, no side doors, no hay pod, it's gonna be tight. So you guys come with us as we get this trailer loaded. The must have is gonna go in this trailer pile. And then a, we're storing you because we're gonna clean this trailer out. Okay. Pile. new ones of these. Do these go bad? I don't know. It's in plastic still, isn't it? Yeah. I'll throw this one away and keep like this one. Feed him, feed him. Yeah. Ah. Ah. It's way heavier than I anticipated. Thank you. I would like to bring a cooling sheet, but that weighs nothing, so. There's a lot of things I like about this trailer and that's that it's really light. I think it's really cool that it's black and it matches the rig. And the third thing is the poly last floor in the back, not spawns. I just, I live for them. Brand is making a lot of noise in the background if you can what hear. We... I'm gonna be selling my four horse platinum that you guys saw newly renovated and 100% solar. That is gonna go, I'll, t I'll tell you guys about it. I'll make sure and make a video about it. I will have links and stuff, um, but I am gonna sell it because we have a lot of stuff and things, a lot of moving parts and we wanna pare everything down because that makes life so much simpler. I love this trailer. I love so much about it. There's things I don't like and I'll, talk to you about that in case you're trailer shopping. I was really hoping that this door would be extra wide so that I could have a swing out saddle rack. Stepping up into a trailer, you will biff it. You will biff it at one point or another when you get up in here and you've got a saddle in your arms. Now, Cody and I are really, really good about one person gets up in the trailer and then another person lifts things up in there. That typically makes it a lot better. The other thing is if you take out the mangers underneath in the side storage, no manger, no side storage, you guys know we're grain free. I promise we'll make a video about that. So I don't need grain storage mangers for my horses to eat going down the road that takes away all of that storage on the outside that you can put a lot of stuff in but what it also does is allows the horses like a foot more room and that's what we like because we're going a long way down the road so that's what we prefer also if you're trailer shopping think about where this fender is are is the fender making its way inside the trailer or is everything on the outside you'll know what I mean because the inside of some trailers how have a wheel well and other trailers are a little bit wider but this wheel well can either be inside or outside of the trailer and some horses really don't like them some horses like to rest on them and our horses I just wanted less stuff for them to like nick their legs on mojo is a goofball in the trailer so this works out really really well now again i said no hay pod i don't like hay pods anyway if you um are shopping for a trailer like my other platinum you want the hay pod because then you can load four horses in have everything up there um but i do not go up and down hay pods well um since breaking my neck so not a huge fan things i love about this trailer this plexiglass which can slide out during the summer months or stay in in the winter months so that's really good things i dislike carpet in the tack room so carpet in the tack room means that we're going to have to vacuum although we do have a small hack and that is um, that the robot vacuum like a Roomba if you leave it in there for just like five minutes shut the door It does a really great job on this carpet. You guys know you can't just sweep it or like hand vacuum it because it like 
embeds itself into these trailer carpet. But I like a lot about it. It does tighten our room down quite a bit. So we do have an Amazon hack for the buckets. And again, like I said, we don't feed grain, so we don't need a bucket. But what I'm gonna do is um, probably keep a bucket in here just to have, but then we're gonna go to some foldable buckets, not the buckets you saw in the last vlog. We found kind of another hack for that. So we'll check that out. Um, wish the saddle rack bar was bigger, but we are gonna live with that. And we're gonna go a little bit more minimalistic and really, really plan out our outfits. And then on the top rack, one of my favorite things that we're gonna do is I'm going to haul a saddle with me and I will be saddle fitting horses at each barrel race. So if you see me, you have your horse there or you just simply wanna take a look at the quality of our saddles in person so that you can make your own decisions, I'm gonna have that available for you to come look at. So make sure and check out us at a rodeo near you. The back I love because this door opens wide and it's all the way across. What I don't like about it is this door used to be the back tack where we'd have this room to be able to stuff more stuff. So again, we're having to be really thoughtful, which I think in the- Which they also could have totally put in. Oh yeah, no, you can put that right here. Like you could, put, you could have put it in here, yeah. but then I thought like, okay, we're gonna be hauling a lot of young horses very soon. They don't load super great. So when you have the two doors, it's wide open. And I don't know if you guys know, but Hush Money is like 16-1. She's massive. So then this whole area, like she can have a little bit more room. Mojo thinks he needs more room, but he doesn't. And then again, because there's no mangers here, this is just like huge for them to go a long way. But you could, this is legit like a two horse area. If we ever have a horse that needs to travel with like a goat or pony again, we've got that space covered. The other thing, love, love, love these petitions. I love that there's no bars, that they can't see each other at all. That's a lot of um, what makes Mojo really mad in the trailer is being able to see somebody. So the fact that you can't see anybody next to you is really, really great for him. Um, and I can move this hay back, back just a little bit. I love the way they did the windows on this too. Now, no frills, so I don't have any fans in here. And the reason is you guys know that I love my Ryobi green fans that I put up on the outside because I actually get more use out of them and the horses don't play with any wiring that runs up here. I've always had that kind of be an issue. So anyway, it's bare bones and I really, really like it that way. I think that we figured out exactly where we want the frills and that is in the chassis, in that RV, while when we drive, we can work. Um, Brand can do his thing. I have access to a coffee pot and a toilet and a refrigerator and a microwave. So it just makes life a lot easier. So we went super bare bones back here and I love it. I love these windows. These are different than our last windows. They're a little bit bigger. Now the inside I think is exactly the same. When you pull this down, things I love and hate about all trailers, every trailer in America, it's really hard to get up there to water your horse at a gas station. I don't love to unload when it's unsafe. So in order to get your water bucket up, you're gonna have to climb up on a tire, have somebody help you get that bucket up there. And I don't love that. There's not a good solution in any trailer. The only difference, um, the only positive to having mangers is that, am I a trailer review specialist by the way? Cause I feel like I pulled every single kind of trailer. And so I could be like, I could, I could look at your prospect and your trailer and I can tell you what's gonna go wrong. So I feel like if, you, if that was a big deal for you, you're not super tall, you don't have any help, a manger really helps for you to be able to pull this window down, take a really small bucket and plop it in that manger. You don't have to get up and down. But this way, you're gonna have to finagle up here, which I typically go up here on a tire, have somebody hand me a bucket and water that way. It's a pain in the butt. There's not a good way around it, but with our new collapsible buckets and this double door situation, I may go in through the back and then water them on the ground and then pop it underground, but we'll see, pop it under the petition, but we'll see um, how that goes as we start to get a little bit more familiar with this trailer and how it works. I love that it has enough tie rings on the sides for us to keep our horses spread apart or put one on either side. Most people that make trailers, they'll give you a six horse trailer and put two saddle racks in it and you're just like, or force tie rings and you're like, what were you thinking here? But I think this is really well made. I really like it. The axles are big. It pulls really great behind the RV. Overall, I love this trailer. I love the last trailer. It is, Cody said, and Cody has some taste, okay? Cody, like, she's discerning. So 
She said that the Platinum is her favorite trailer of any trailer that we've had, and I couldn't agree more. So this is a tough transition for us because we didn't hate anything about how we were traveling already, except it was just very tight quarters and hard for us to get anywhere fast with diaper changes and me needing to pee 27,000 times. I hope you guys like my trailer reviews. Um, trailer companies need to reach out and sponsor your girl so that they can, by the way, yeah, I get $0 discount. And I take $0 discount because I work hard for my money and I know other people do too. And just a side note, if you ever run a business or you get successful in life, the way to know like a friend of a friend is they don't ask for a lot of free stuff. And if you give them free stuff, they understand that it's a gift and that they, absolutely love it and help you support your business. I see a lot of people saying, you guys will support Sephora and Nordstrom, but you won't, won't support my small business. Um, I like to support businesses because I do well and I'm definitely not above getting a discount, but I don't expect any kind of special treatment. So when you guys see these trailers, zero dollars of them are sponsored. That's all hard work and elbow grease, and I'm damn proud of that. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I will be making that feeding vlog very, very soon. I know you guys are freaking out about it and you're so excited. Again, not spawns by the person I'm gonna shout out quite a bit in here, so I've gotta make sure I have her approval to say some stuff and things. And then I'm gonna go forward with showing you guys each horse's supplementation and how we're feeding. And it's gonna be super, super, super extra good because your girl is not sponsored by anybody. Again, it's like a Jeffree Star cosmetic makeup review. Like, I ain't getting paid by nobody to say nothing, so it's just, you know it's 110. All right, you guys, if you are not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe, ding that notification bell, and as always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. Mm -hmm.